We already have very reliable and very effective treatments for superficial venous reflux in the saphenous veins. We can use radiofrequency or endovenous laser. However, sometimes the veins are particularly close to the surface of the skin, or sometimes they're tortuous, twisty-turny, and it's difficult to negotiate the catheter inside the vein. Well, recently, a French company called Sermavein has developed a technique called steam vein sclerosis. It uses a very fine catheter that can negotiate tortuosity in the veins, and it uses superheated steam at 120 degrees centigrade, which is very gentle and has minimal risk to surrounding tissues, such as nerves or the skin. Recently, I went to Lyon to see Philip Nicolini perform the procedure. The endovenous thermal occlusion of varicose veins with the steam vein sclerosis system consists of a generator, a heating handpiece and specially designed catheters. The generator provides the energy for the procedure and it transfers sterile water from the water sachet into the handpiece where it is immediately heated and transformed into superheated steam at 120 degrees Celsius. The catheters are inserted into the veins under ultrasound guidance, followed by the injection of tumescent local anaesthetic around the veins, again under ultrasound guidance. A special catheter has been designed for phlebectomy. The steam comes straight out of the end. For the saphenous veins, the steam comes out of two tiny side holes. The catheter is then withdrawn down the length of the saphenous vein as pulses of superheated steam are delivered. The catheters are only 1.2 millimetres in diameter and therefore they do not require a guide wire for insertion. So it would appear that steam vein sclerosis may well have a place for some patients with a certain pattern of superficial venous reflux. It may be appropriate for very tortuous veins, which are very superficial, perhaps the sorts of veins that recur after previous surgical stripping. I'm going to follow this technique and research it a bit further, and I may well introduce it into my practice.